what's up guys welcome to the channel ronald wayne here and today i'm going to show you a quick fast way to make your own custom video lens so without further ado let's get into the video all right so here's a video i shot um this is one of my favorite videos i shot last year and what i want to do here is essentially look for a spot in the video that has the colors that i want to mani manipulate so here as she's getting up i think i like somewhere around here like she's getting up this is a perfect spot right here um so here we have cyan's and then we have blues and what happens is sometimes when you apply a lot to a to a clip it changes all the colors and it leaves a tint and i used to hate that i'm like i didn't want a spe specific color over the whole video i wanted to pinpoint each color individually and that's what this does so i'm really excited to show you guys uh this process so let's go what i'll do here is i'll go to share and you will hit save current frame okay so what this is essentially doing is creating a a high resolution tiff file and you'll be able to open this up in your photoshop so i'm going to save this save this to my desktop it looks like i had already made one but i'm going to do another one okay and we're going to open up photoshop we're going to go to file open okay and there's the same screen capture that we just did okay and there it is and this is the fun part all right so your first step is to go to layer new background from layer very important if you don't do this step it's not going to come out right it's the very first step create a background layer otherwise you're going to have an error and you won't be able to upload your luck it happened to me so now don't let it happen to you <laughs> all right so from here this is the fun part uh every the color i mean i love coloring so everything's subjective depending on the client or personal use but i love warmth and i love colors so i'm gonna go ahead and get these cyans going and i'm just gonna bring those blues i just really want these blues to come up all right let's bring these blues up let's get them in there boom and let's bring those blues in there so let's do that so we already have a before and after which is a huge difference it already has a different feel to it already i love it looks like grease and then what i also want to do is pull these whites up and that's the cool thing about uh, doing selective color where if you have let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit if you have like something where white is looking a little bit tinted or dull you can literally just bring the whites up okay not too much but just up a little bit and it changes it and it makes it a little bit cleaner and whiter especially if this is like a full white bathing suit all right so that's that and then now i'm gonna affect her skin tones a little bit i love to pull these cyan's this way and get the colors that way like that all right and i'm loving how this is looking so if we do a before and after before after and then you can even sharpen uh your footage a little bit but i'm not gonna do it here maybe i am <laughs> all right so i like to sharpen this up just a little bit all right or you can sharpen it in post in your uh final cut or premiere pro so but I, sometimes they're just depending on how i feel um so let's go to file and you're gonna go to export this to a color lookup table okay and from here i use i leave all this the same quality grid points 64 i leave the same high i leave the same i mean i love the way the colors come out in the quality so i've never tried maximum i just leave it the same um here make sure cube is checked this is the format that you're going to use it's going to be universal against for all the universal for all the uh video editing programs final cut pro premiere and davinci and hit ok let's go ahead and save it and create a name for it i'm going to call this anna blue all right i'm going to go to save now it's saving to the desktop all right so now we're going to go right back into photoshop and what you're going to need is this program called m lut by motion vfx it's a free program i'll leave the link in the description excuse me and essentially what it does is it lets you load 
custom LUTs. It also has LUTs, but that defeats the purpose. I don't like those LUTs. I like making my own colors, and that's what we're here for, right? So let's go ahead and drag this over, okay? And then from here, what you're gonna do is you hit load custom LUT right here, and this is one called in a blue. We'll load that. And let's see what happens. And there it goes. I think that looks amazing. Check that out. Just love the color on that. And that's how you make your own custom LUT, man. That's pretty much it. So I think that's it, guys. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.